Down in Fort Worth, Texas, there's a housing boom. Don't, don't, don't. But it's not what you think. Whole neighborhoods are being rebuilt, and Wheeler dealers lock it in. are scooping up the old houses before they're torn down and moving them out to remodel and flip for profit. It's a risky business. But here in Longhorn Country, there are three family companies competing for the cash. They're flipping houses in record time. And the good folks of Texas come from all over. Take a look around, see what you think of her. To buy bargains. 25,000 now. And move them to their own. Land. So, so, so. <laughs> it's flipping and moving Texas style. Northwest of Fort Worth, about eight miles out, is the city of Lake Worth. It's nestled on the bank of, well, Lake Worth. There's fishing to be had, ducks and stuff, and rumor has it there's a monster living on an island in the middle. That won't worry the flipping movers, because they only care about a flipping bargain. This cute lakeside house is all 800 square feet, and it's got two bedrooms and one bathroom. Okay, Lake Worth, here we come, baby. I looked it up, and it's right on the lake. I bet it's got a big old porch on the back of it, probably overlooking the lake. I can see it now. We might keep it. Maybe it has a boat that comes with it. I'm just kidding. We're not keeping the house. We need design ideas, money in the bank. I hope we won't see the Lake Worth monster. Back in the day when I was a kid, everybody was afraid to come out. You didn't come out this lake unless you had five or six people with you. Of course, back in, I scared everything. Now I just get scared when I look at myself in the mirror. Whoa, well, depending on the size of that house, wow. we've got some tree issues here. Yeah, and lines. Look how low, low those lines. lines are. Here it is. Well, it looks cute from here. It really does. The roof looks good. It appears to be small, but it's not a very big exit up there. No, you've got it's... two big pine trees. You've got a big shrub on the right-hand side. But I like it. It's got a big tall roof. It's oh, got I'm nice siding. I already like what I've seen. I love it. Well, I've got a pretty tall roof for that rascal. It just keeps going and going. Goes out here, goes out just a little further down on the bottom. Whoa! Ooh, that might be an issue. Look, it's got good windows. That's what I was looking at. Those are double insulated, baby. This is going to be a gamble to me. I don't know if I'm wanting to gamble that much today. I don't either. I love it. I do too. Mr. Mm -hmm. Hester House Mover. What do you think about it so far? I think it's awesome oh, and we need we it. Want it. So get your measuring stick and let's get the measure in. We don't even need this. We need you need to bring a truck back. Well, Cody, look over here. There's a low wire right there. Looks taller than it really is because the side is so little. You interested in this? I might want to dabble in it. Cody, what we're gonna have to do is cut the roof out of this thing. But if uh, we cut the roof out, well, then we can get it out of here. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to today's auction. I got a beautiful cabin ready to go for you. Let's start. 50, I got 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 100, now 100, 150, 150, I got 150, now 150, 150, now 2, 2 to you, 2 to 250, 250, where? 250 in the back, 250, now 3, 300, 350, 350, I got 350, I got 4, now 450 to you, 450, I got 5 in the back, 500, now 6, 600, where? 1,000, 1,000, now 1,050, I got 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 was our budget, so why not get to 1,000 and let them make it? Sold it, sold it, sold it. One thousand dollars, sold it. One thousand. Seriously? Stole it, stole it, stole it. It was only fifty dollar income there, you know. Jealousy's not a good look on you, Randy. You know what I'm saying? Jealousy. You know what I'm saying? Stay humble. Here, Stay humble. Nobody likes Woo. a poster. You know what I'm saying? Oh Lord. Roll out, player. We just bought a half. Yeah, money in the bank. Woo! Look at this. Who is right? It smells like cash money is what Please. it smells like to me. Look at this. There's square footage to work with here, guys. No, Double. This is, I mean, this is a decent sized room. And then look at this, the kitchen. Uh-huh. Look how big this is. This is a really good size. I love the window right here. Look at this big weird Slope. entry laundry room thing. Definitely add-on. This is obviously an add-on that wasn't done right. Uh, this thing's gonna have to be wrecked off. This is where the laundry room is. We're gonna lose the laundry room, Casey. Here's what it is, man. Okay, now this looks like it is straight out of a horror movie. Yeah, and it's looking like it's about to fall off the side of the house. It's all leaning like that. Oh, that's fine because it's coming off. The bathroom and laundry are in the add-on, but because the add-on wasn't built well enough to move, it'll have to go. What's left is a kitchen, living area, and two bedrooms. All right, Casey, so when can you get out here with the equipment so we can get this thing up and out of here? And load the skids up in the morning. I'll be out here tomorrow afternoon. There's another auction to get to. This one's in the city of Farmer's Branch. It used to be a farming community. 
Now it's a satellite city of Dallas, and old houses are making way for new. Pretty good neighborhood. The old house already been in pretty good shape. Up for auction is this Spanish hacienda, all thousand square feet of it and covered in stucco. The owners want it off their land, so it's hasta la vista, baby. Wow. It's got a little porch. That's cool. Got a big window. Stucco? Yeah. Golly. It can be moved, but I'm not in love with a stucco house. How about mm, you? No, I'm not either. Stucco house, that's made out of cement, and it could be tricky to move. Depending upon how well it was put on to start with, it could crack. It could even fall off. If that old stucco's on there right, it's not bad. I don't have to worry about the siding at all. What, I mean, what's underneath it? Well, it's like chicken wire and styrofoam. And this is going to be a lot to contend with. Yeah. It has to be taken off all the way around. Yeah. Then you've got the cost of going back with some siding. The door frame. Heck, that exterior is going to be an easy fix. Yeah, I've moved a few stucco houses. you got to be pretty careful with them. You know, can't rough them up too much. Sometimes a little bit of fall off or whatever, but, you know, ain't nothing that can't be fixed. Beside that, you still got a house. Man, see, that looks like all rotten down there. Water's definitely been getting in it. As long as I make the trip, we've been good business. Did you notice this, Mr. Stucco expert? That's going to come off anyway. Yeah, just like the rest of the house is going to come off when you go driving down the road with it. And the more I look at this house, this is a sucker house. Whoever gets this is a sucker. All right, ladies and gentlemen, up for auction today, we got a beautiful stucco farmhouse with a chimney. How about $50? Let's go. 50 I'll give it 50 50 now one. One, I'll give it 125 150 to you. $150, now 200 Now 250 250 now three. I'll give it 3 three. Now 350 I'll give it 350 Four, four. I'll give it four. Four, four. You're in the back. Four, now 450 to you. 450 I'll give it 450 450 now five. 500 sir. 500 now 550 I'll give it 500 Six, now 650 650 now seven. I'll give it 700 700 now 750 750 to you. 750 now eight. I'll give it eight. I'll give it eight. I'll give it 850 850 now nine. 900 you're out. Nine. I'll give it 900 now 950 950 one more time. Let's go. 950. I'll give it to 950. 950. 950. Where? 950. I'll give it to 950. 950. Now 975 to you. 975. Yeah, 975. Now 1. 1,000. I'll give it to 1,000. 1,000. I'll give it to 1,000. 1,000. I'll give it to 1,000. And I have. It's sold it. It's sold it. 975. Right. Sold it. I guess you could say that old house just stuck on me, huh? Or you could say you stuck on stupid. Just, just saying. Mmm. Man, I'm body smoked in this place. Look at the nicotine. Yolly. Hardwood floor. That's a good thing. Might be able to sand that out. That's an old panel. That fireplace, that's going to have to go. I don't care about a fireplace. Not when you're flipping them. Them some old cabinets. Yeah, look at that. Well, it's dragging. Mm, either foundation or floor issues. Oh, my goodness. That mold? Yep. That's mold. Mm. Cut all that out. Wow, oh, this ain't much a bathroom. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get me a clean crew. Let's see what I got here. Oh, God, dog it! Let's see what I got here. Oh, God, dog it! Man, mold, mold, mold. Golly, the whole dead gum. Ah, dog, we're gonna tear all that out. I'm gonna have to go wash my hand. Dog it. I hope the water's on or something. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is gross. You know that black mold? It's ugly. It's nasty. It smells. But it ain't gonna kill you. You just gotta clean it up and move on. Dead gum. This is one nasty house. It'll take a cleaning crew to get rid of the mold, but on the upside, the house is big. On one side, the living area is separated from a combined kitchen and dining area. Wrapping around the other side are three good-sized bedrooms, an ensuite, and main bathroom. Just tear it out. That's all we're going to do. Just tear it out and start over. I've seen enough. Nasty, nasty. It's moving day at the lake house, and Casey arrives bright and early. With big trucks and tight drives, it's a squeeze just getting into the yard. It would be much easier if Casey had some help. Sick, dude, we're over here busting our butt on this house. I'm not going to be a good head today. I can hear you, that. All right, man, well, there's no sense in me sitting here on the phone. I guess I'll let you go. All right, we go. All right, later, man. Sometimes people get sick. That's just life, but why today of all days? 
We're just going to need four foot of that roof cut off and get up under these lines here. All right, gotta go. Ten four. The power lines are 14 foot six above the ground, and the house will be 18 foot four high when it's sitting on the truck. The solution? A circular saw and a heap of manpower. The add-on? That's a job for a reciprocating saw. And heck, let's bring in the skid loader. The roof is off the house. The house is off the ground. It's goodbye lakeside, but only just under the bridge downtown and onto the lot. Meanwhile, over in Farmer's Branch, a cleaning crew has cleaned out the mold so Randy can move the house to the lot. And with a nudge here and a shove there, the stucco house is ready to roll. Got the house mervis wax on top, and we'll slide it out here to about the middle of this yard. Maneuver it around, take it out the road. All right, let's go. Wax on, house off. With all that stucco on the side, this is going to have to be one careful move, and that means going real slow and gentle. With less than one day's work, the house makes it to the lot with most of the stucco intact. This looks pretty good. Listen, I know everybody was giving you a hard time about the stucco, but it looks like it kept up. It did, except right along the edge of there where the foundation and stuff was. I think what we need to do is uh, maybe cutting this off, building a ledger line there. Uh -huh. And Wayne's coating that down. That was great. Siding would look good down here, too. Oh, yeah. And it'd give a good contrast. Yeah. The other thing on the exterior is we got that roof to deal with. You know, I think it'd be nice if we did a metal roof. It'll look good and it'll last for years. Oh, oh yeah. All oh, these floors. Now, they're awesome. And they're in good shape, too. All the way through. These floors are so nice. The trim is so nice. Even this board, this pressed wood, is better than they make today. Oh, yeah. So I'd like to save this. We get this off the walls, though. Clean up these walls highlight the floors, and we go with a the theme of rustic industrial. We're going to blow out that wall and take that fireplace out, get rid of that, and open it up, set this back. Open concept, right? We let the light come through from each room. That'll work. That'll work. You know, on these cabinets, I got to go. They're outdated. I want to save you money and give you a great look, okay? So I'm going to suggest that we keep these cabinets. I'm going to clean them up, probably paint them. But this wood, I mean, we couldn't afford this wood. This is great maple wood. Oh, I, yeah, I know this is expensive material. So let's keep it. These will look so good, people will think that we chose these and brought them in. But on these uh, countertops, they definitely are gone. Oh, yeah. This is that wall right here. Uh -huh. Dive in the kitchen. We blow this out. Carry it plumb over to here. This becomes our dining room. Exactly. And that bathroom doesn't make sense to me. It's, it's not big enough to say anything about. So if we can rework it, where maybe we go with there with washer dryer, it'd be great to have a mudroom back here. You know, a back entrance, people can come in, clean off. Exactly. So here's Randy's plan. The fireplace, valuable though it is, has to go. So the living room, dining area, and kitchen can all be opened up. At the back of the house, the third bedroom and small bathroom will be downsized into a utility room. The two bedrooms and main bathroom will stay where they are. <laughs> oh, this bathroom is vintage. Vintage, yeah, yeah, it's older than I. I think we just need to overhaul it. Yeah, under this carpet, it looks like these hardwood floors continue. Yeah, what does it look like? Oh, look at that. That's money in the bank, everybody. Those are perfect. With Cody and Susie both out of action, Casey's got a lot of work to do, but there's one thing he hadn't bargained on. Hey, you looks like you guys are getting along pretty good. Yeah, working hard, working hard. What you got going on here? How about I show you? I don't know if I want to see this. Can you give me a guess on what that stuff is right there? Tell me that's not asbestos. Tell me that's not asbestos. Definitely asbestos. It's terrible, boss. Man, that is not a good sign right there. Yeah, this this ain't something you can tiptoe around, boss. You gotta you gotta take your time and get it disposed of right. Yeah, and it also sounds like time and money to me. When you're taking off asbestos, you've got to be really careful so the stuff doesn't get airborne, and you got to take it to a special dump. So I know it's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. Removing the asbestos hazard is specialized work. The dust is toxic, and that means. Hazmat suits, gloves, and respirators. Anything that has been in contact with the asbestos must be removed from the lot and disposed of safely. Over at Randy's Spanish Hacienda, the bottom half of the stucco crumbled away in the move. But Randy has a solution. I think what we need to do is come up on a chalk line here, 
and just go all the way around the house completely up to the bottom of the window, cut it, put a ledger board up, put some hardy board on that, pull it tight. His idea is to cut away the broken stucco, then install brand new siding to create a wainscot. But this is Randy's lucky day. The old siding underneath the stucco can be reused. You don't have to side this thing. That's the best decision I've made so far in this house. Today. Of course, day's young. Tomorrow, you start all over again. Just keep up with it. Three, go. A beam along the whole house is going to be needed before any of the internal walls can be demolished. Up. Walk it up. Throw it down. Coming down. Cantilever. All right. Pick it up, bud. With the beam in place, the walls can come down. And the maple cabinet doors are carefully removed to be patched, painted, and reused. Over at Casey's Lake House, the asbestos is gone, so Casey can do what boys like doing best, smashing things with hammers. So much more open in here. But smashing the house up with hammers isn't going to get it built and flipped, so Casey's called in a contractor to help him figure out the design work. This looks like quite help, please. Yes. The project. It is, but it's going to be great. So what's the theme for this house? Like, lake. where's it going? Well, it came from the lake. And so we're just going to keep it the uh, kind of the lake thing. Like a lake house. Like a lake house. Okay. Yep. So where's the front door? We're standing in the kitchen. The front door is going to remain where it's at right now. The wall right here is going to, we're going to knock this out. Uh, that's going to open it up. Yeah, make it feel a lot bigger in here. Okay, okay. that okay. makes sense. Let's see the other part. We're going to section it up in three sections. You'll have a bedroom, a bathroom, and bedroom. Okay, simple enough. Casey's idea is to give the kitchen new cabinets and take down one wall to open the space up. In the bedrooms, the closets will go. Between the bedrooms, there'll be a new bathroom and new closets. Finally, on the side of the house, there'll be a new door and a new deck. Now for some design ideas, starting with the bathroom. So Lake House, <laughs> I have had my eye on this, um, like, River Rock tile. <laughs> Interesting, I've never heard of it. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. I mean, I know what it River Rock is, but it tile? It perfect in a setting like this. Over at Randy's Stucco House, keeping the original siding to use as Wayne Scott has saved Randy over 2000 bucks. Hey, Adam, what's going on? Hey, I'm just looking at some colors for the outside of this house. What's this you got? That's a hundred year old wood right Yeah, there. this is gorgeous. You know, what this would be perfect for is our bathroom in here. Well, I was hoping it'd work out with some it. Reusing the siding and recycling some lumber will save some money. But there's even more money being saved on the inside. God, how hey, you Randy. What's going on? Well, I'm going to tell them. Come check the progress. Well, I thought we were going to salvage all that. Oh, we are? We're cutting these, this out, so we're going to take some new wood and lace it into this wood. Take it all the way back to that wall. We'll sand it, finish it. It'll look like you put it in yesterday. Man, I like that. The lake house is beginning to look like a house again. And top priority for Casey is getting that roof rebuilt. So I got going on up here, boys. Bad hand. Flip it. Flip it good. good. Into shape. It's not too late. Hey, Casey, what are you going to put on this roof? Composition or metal? Oh, metal all the way. Best way to go, huh? Yes, sir. The new roof, new walls, and new windows are looking good. Now to start on the inside. What have you got? Tile. All right. This is the floor. Cool, cool. Right? This is going to be around the whole shower. This is the backsplash around your vanity. Beautiful. Uh, but what if we take and cut this in half right here and put a little border around? No, that'll be great. The rebuild is pumping along ahead of schedule. All right. The bathroom is ready. It's all rocked in. And this is the next step. Beautiful. But sooner or later, all good things must come to an end. Take it back. Take it back? Yes. I just got here with it. Take it back? Yes. I just got here with it. It's got a great big dent in it. Holy moly. But you love the tile, right? I love the tile. The tub will have to go back, and that's going to suck up valuable time. At Randy's Hacienda, the shingles were toast, so 
Over the top goes a metal roof. Placing in new wood with old, then a bit of work sanding, staining, and sealing it, and voila, that floor's as good as cash. The wainscot and stucco combo goes two-tone, completing the outside. You got it? Yes, sir. Step. But while the outside is looking dandy, All right. the kitchen still needs work. I like that. Hmm. Let's see. We need something to break that contrast up. I want to get up there to that tile shop. Okay. You know, and see what they got in a different tile. Because we got to do something different there. Casey's Lake House has new drywall and is now ready for a coat of paint. For the living space, it's going to be a soothing pale blue. And for the bathroom, a light sage green. This is going to look good with that river rock tile. The darker tones of kitchen cabinets really pop against the pale blue walls. Tying this open plan living space all together, new laminate floor. Okay, so I cut you measure? How are you going to do it? And of course, every lake house needs a deck to sit on and watch the days pass by. Stand up there, see what you think about the height of the railing. Hello. Yep. Perfect. Is that it? This is it. Take a look at that. That's that metal look. Oh, yeah, and that's going to look good. good. Randy's gone for metal look tiles for his backsplash, keeping with his rustic industrial theme. Continuing the theme into the bathroom will be that old wall paneling. Hey, what do you think? Mm, I don't know. It's different for sure. Hey, well, what if we changed it to where all the planks were running long? Oh, I like that a lot better. You wouldn't like think it'd make that much difference, but it does. This is going to be the Wayne's code around here. Yeah. I've got it cut for around 42 inches right there. And that's going to go all the way around. So basically, what this is going to do is hold the sink up. So we're looking at it, that's what you'll have for a backsplash. This is going to be great. You know and what? I mean, all the texture of that corrugated steel, all the rust, this texture, and then that clean porcelain of the sink. Right. It's going to really complement each other. All that texture of wood and corrugated iron needs a contrast of some clean and smooth subway tiles. Go that way, just a bit. Meanwhile, the lakeside cabin is getting its new lakeside look kitchen. That's oh. your backsplash. Oh, very nice contrast, I do yeah, believe. I think it's going to look awesome. It actually looks like it's kind of got some gray and blue in it. Do you see kind of this ripple in here? I do. It's like looks, looks great. Yeah. watery. Sticking with the theme. Yes. Love it. You did a great job picking that out. Thank you. And the bathroom is getting its lakeside look makeover with new pebble ties. That looks awesome. On the outside, there's a choice to be made. What's the best color for the walls? I've got green and I've got white. Right. But I don't know technically what to paint the trim. How about we try them both out? Sound like playing me. Nothing like a bit of trial and error. So, what's the verdict? I think the green will uh, look more, have a lake feel to it. Okay, so we're going to go with green base. Yes. With this white on all the trim. Yep. Waste not, want not. That's how to make money in this business. Like building shelves at a hundred year old lumber. Make sure you get that flush. Grab the loose side and pull it right on down to it. Main thing is when you cramp it, we get it right up there tight. Hundred year old lumber and brand new stainless steel fittings. It doesn't get more rustic industrial than that. You know, I think when you first walk in, seeing that type of shelving on the wall is going to be unique. In itself, and I think everybody's gonna like it once we get everything tweaked where it's supposed to be. The old time bathroom is getting new fixtures. Got plenty of elbow room. And so is the kitchen. You know that saying, measure twice, cut once? We don't wanna mess up a countertop. You messed up a countertop, you throw a bunch of money away real quick, like. There's another saying that goes with it look before you cut. Guess what? It's cut plumb over here where the draw opening is. We're going to have to rework that because that, there ain't no fixing that. It's cut plumb over here where the draw opening is. The new sink that's going into the countertop is bigger than the old one. And the way things stand, there isn't enough room for it. Well, the problem is we're trying to use new hardware, new sinks. They're bigger. Everything's bigger. I owned the original cabinet, so... Uh, we're going to have to do some modification here. It's going to be cheaper to fix that than it will be to buy another countertop. It's getting close to auction time for the Lakeside Cabin, and it's needing a few finishing touches. We are going to dress up this mirror for the bathroom. Kind of a nautical theme. 
Ooh, ooh. We're taking the ropes and we're going to drape it around the perimeter of the mirror. So we'll have like two layers of rope that go around it. Does that make sense? Yeah. The two ropes are glued together. And once it's set, they'll be glued onto the glass. Let's run a bead of hot glue and then I'm going to squeeze it together and hold it. I'm digging it. It'll look good. It's going to look cool. Casey may just make it in time for auction day after all. Tiles are getting stuck to walls. Pipes are getting hooked up. And the kitchen gets new shiny things. Staging furniture gives an empty house that homey feeling. And a man with a flashlight makes sure it's all safe to live in. Finally, some trees take the whole scene back to the lake. The buyers have arrived, and they like what they see. Check out the little porch over here. Ah, that's nice. Definitely like the deck. It's just a little space. It's all you really need. Repairing the rear wall, removing the vinyl siding and the asbestos, then putting on new metal roof and paint was a major cost for Casey. He had to spend over $6,000. And the deck? Cheap at $300. What I like about this kitchen is the backsplash. First thing I saw when I walked in the house was definitely that tile. Straight ahead, the black and silver and everything are beautiful. Really liked that. The kitchen is all new, and the fancy tile backsplash has hit a home run. 3200 bucks. The bathroom is beautiful. The way they have the stones in the center, it just pops, makes the room look even bigger. What is this floor made of? I don't know. It's kind of little pebbles, but it's pretty cool because then it matches the backsplash. It's got black rock yeah, on the, the backsplash. Yeah, the detail that they have going yeah. on in the back. Yeah. Casey had to build the whole bathroom from scratch. It cost it almost three grand, but it turned out real good, and that's a big plus with potential buyers. Second bedroom, I loved it. Uh, I like the two bedrooms. They're definitely big enough. They'd be the perfect size for what I'm looking for. Both bedrooms just needed patch and paint, 600 bucks each. I love the floor plan. It just works out really great. With the bathroom in the middle, super. Uh, everything is just so open and bright. That's what I like is the open floor plan because it makes it seem larger than it is. It's a nice big area where somebody could be cooking or we could just come hang out. Some people are sitting and... Knocking out the wall between the kitchen and living space, new drywall, laminate, flooring, and paint totaled just over 2000 It looks quite a bit different. The house sure is getting plenty of interest, especially from these two. Brian and Carrie used to own this house before they sold it to Casey and the Young Guns. They're building a brand new house by the lake, and they sold the old house to make way for it. It's awesome to see it get recycled this way and be able to not just be used again, but used again in a state that's brand new for someone. Cool. Wow. It looks inviting. I'm like, do I want it back? <laughs> this is pretty amazing. You, you did do a you, great job. Do you job. actually believe that you're in the same house? <sighs> Only because you told us so, right? Casey and the Young Guns bought the lake house for a grand. The move cost uh, two and a half thousand, but the remodel with all that asbestos removal slugged them 16 grand. To make a profit, Casey has to get at least 19,500 at auction. What, do you want to go inside and take a look? But that's if the house goes to auction. That turned out nice. Sometimes lady luck turns up at just the right time. I'm very, very negotiable on price. You take 23? As of right now, I'll do 24. I'll do 24. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, let me call the boss man and make sure okay. it's okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, you ma'am. He was asking 28.5. And I went and said 23, and he said 24. Okay. All right. Bye. He was asking 28.5. And I went and said 23, and he said 24. Okay. All right. What's the verdict? 23,500, it's a deal. Okay, I can do that. Deal done. 23,500, straight into the bank. And she's willing to buy this thing before an auction. Well, she, she got the cash right now. Yep. You get pretty good at this right here. Yes, sir. But you know you still gotta pay me, right? Yeah, 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 well, I, I got you, man, I got you. Well, good, congratulations. Casey and I did have to negotiate a little bit. He had a price, I had a price, my husband had a price. And so I called him and we kind of hit in the middle and 
then it was all go. It's a small house and we have some acreage and I just needed something small for a little guest house. I like the uh, little porch on the side and the color kind of fits with the color scheme at our house already, what we have out there. It was just the right size, two bedrooms, one bath. Um, you can have some, a family stay there or just um, go hang out and get away from everybody. I love the kitchen, I like the colors. Uh, the kitchen island is really nice. I like the backsplash, um, very pretty. I really like the bathroom because the flooring, it's kind of got the pebble flooring on the floor and then it ties in with the backsplash on the shower tub area. No, it has not sunk in that I actually own the home, but once it comes in the front gate, I, it will sink in and all will be good. You might say Randy has done this once or twice. He'll be sure to have everything just right come auction time. Ah, uh -huh, we have lights. Action. Like putting in some staging furniture to make it look good. New appliances are a sure way to milk the profit cow. Not until the inspector flicks all the switches and checks for any glitches. And it's a pass. The green finger touch helps bring in the green rolls of money. That nice little stucco look to the house actually brings it out a lot more. Kind of stands out. Randy saves some cash by keeping the stucco on the top half and the original siding on the bottom. All up, including paint, was four and a half. As soon as I walk through the door, I notice there's a lot of size. On the outside, you see it. You kind of see a little square. You walk in, and it feels like a home. I loved how open it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it's perfect size for what we have in mind. There was a bit of work involved opening up the house, like the gable beam and removing the walls. New drywall and paint, 6200 bucks. And bringing those original floors back to their former glory throughout meant spending another 2900 I like this too. This is pretty. I wouldn't have thought to put those two together. And the, I know the kitchen is actually small, but when you don't have a wall separating anything, it right. just makes the whole house look yeah. right. I like this one because it's open to the family room, so yeah. you don't feel like you're cooking off by yourself when everyone's in here. The backsplash, drywall, painting, and finishing was good bang for buck, costing more than two grand. Those new wood countertops weren't cheap at a grand neat, but Randy saved money keeping the cabinets and painting them. As soon as I walked in the bathroom, I noticed that wall of the shower had that Brooklyn feel to it. The metal, the wood, all of it. Loved it. I loved the bathroom, especially the sink. It was it was small, but it was cute. Randy spent nearly two and a half thousand on the bathroom with a new shower and tub, tiles, and vanity, drywall, and paint. It's a nice size room. Yeah, it is a pretty good size room. Make a nice master bedroom. It's a nice closet yes. space. You have a lot of room in this room. The bedrooms didn't need much work, just patch and paint. Cheap at only eleven $1 hundred a room. The utility room was really useful for coming in from the lake and the dogs. everybody kicking off their muddy clothes and shoes and converting the tiny half bathroom into a utility room was a great use of space and money two thousand two hundred dollars randy won the auction for a real bargain price just under a grand the move was tricky costing him six thousand and the remodel was a hefty twenty eight thousand six hundred bucks that's a bottom line over thirty five and a half grand before randy makes a dollar in profit Good morning, Randy. Morning. We got a bunch of a crowd today. Well, I'm going to tell you what, it's not the size of the crowd, it's the quality of the crowd. I think these folks got money in their pocket. So we got the money crowd today. I think we got the money crowd. That's what counts. The question is, what do we need to be? What's this house worth? About $65,000 on the open market, you know. But, you know, we're asking to get our money today. So that's a disadvantage for me, but we got to be in the 50s. Uh, the difference between open market and today's market that's is right. who's standing here and who's willing to pay for it. Who's got it's my money. job to get all the money I possibly can, so let's do it. All right. Auction time, auction time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's auction time. My name is Myers Jackson, and I am the auctioneer. We're going to sell a nice, comfortable house out here today. Question is, are you ready to bid on it? Well, I hope they brought the checkbook today. We need to get the market money here today, and I'm going to ask for $40,000 is what I'm going to ask 40, for. Yeah, that's a good 40, start. 000, I like 40, that. 40000 would you do? Would be the bomb bomb of order? Would it be the bomb bomb of order? What about thirty five and get in? $35,000, $35,000, $35,000. call this auction off. I ain't going to get with you. $35,000 one time. Do it. $30,000 and get in. Man. One time. Do it. $30,000.
Calls ain't get in. Call this auction. I'll take them and get with it. $15,000, sir. We might stop. I have a stop right there. Give me 20. Hey, 20 and now 25. 20 and 5 and 30 would be the bomb. I'm going to 30 and 35. 35 and 35 would be the bomb. There we go. I knew it. 40. 40 now, 45. 40 now, 45. I'm liking that. Come on, come on. Get that 50. I'm going to 50,000 now. 52 and a half right there. 52 and a half and now 55. Hey, 52 and a half and 55. Five, five, 55 would have been about 55,000. 55 now, 57 and a half would have been the bomb. I'm going to 57 and a half. 57 and a half. 57 and a half would have been the bomb. I'm going to 57 and a half. 57 and a half. Is that your judgment? Hammer's high. We're going to sell it. We're going to ask you one more time. 57 and a half. You say no and I say so. All right. All right. So well, I'm happy. We're in the 50s. I made money today. <laughs> Still can't believe it. It's so much bigger than I thought it would be. Laura and Alan have some land down by a lake, and that's just where they'll be putting their new house. We are so excited we, we got the house. It's the one I wanted, so I'm we so got excited. A house. Yeah. How do you like these floors? I love them. I'm so glad they were able to save the original floors. We love the wood floors. Yeah, it brings that rustic feel to the home. It's warm. Yeah. I like the kitchen. I love it. Yeah, it's small, but it, yeah. I mean, it's going to work. Yeah, I wish the kitchen was a hair bigger, but, you know, it's a lake house, so that's less cooking for me. I love that they did the repurposed wood and tied it in with everything. Uh, they could have just thrown this away, but they were clever with it. Love the old barn wood shelving. Uh, that was one of my favorite things, so I'm glad it's coming with the house, because yeah. I love that they repurposed the wood. It, just, it gives so much warmth and character to the room. This is perfect for coming in off the yeah. lake, wet clothes. They have yeah. a place to hang towels. I'm so excited for the laundry room, too, because it's a nice big mud room, and we don't have to take laundry home when we're done from the lake. We can go home with clean clothes and not have to deal with that. And I mean, really, out of all the houses we looked at, how many had a mud room? None, <laughs> this, right? Yeah, this is the first one. Yeah, so, <laughs> I don't know. That was a seller for me. Oh, my God, this bathroom's so cute. I love the bathroom because the galvanized detail that they put in there was really cute, and it's small, but it's functional. So um, it has a bathtub for the kids and the little laundry cabinet, and I love that they used the old wood in that also. The bedrooms were bigger than I expected. I love the look of the clean, the nice clean lines of this room. Yes, I do. I do. I like really, it. the house has clean lines, even with the rest. It just has a clean feel to it. And to be able to carry the wood floors through the whole house, it's unbelievable. I really love the colors on the outside, too, because it's a little contemporary, so it'll fit in with the rustic. I like that combination with the inside as well. I like the tin roof, not because of any utilitarian purpose, but I just like the sound of rain on a tin roof. <laughs> Can you bring this to Cyrus? No, I'm so yeah. excited. <laughs> this is, I still can't. No, it's this sinking. Is wild. It's still sinking in. Casey and the Young Guns spent just under twenty grand on the lake house. With a sale of twenty-three thousand five hundred bucks, that's a four grand profit in the bank. But it's the Lone Wolf who's the big winner today, with his big Spanish stucco hacienda. Even with hefty remodeling costs, the big sale price delivered Randy a flipping profit of over nineteen thousand dollars. Muchas gracias, amigo. Well, congratulations, Randy, on selling your house. Thank you. Thank you. Turned out good. I'm, I'm impressed with the way it turned out. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, that stucco, well, cutting it off and leaving that half, half yeah. stucco. And the... I'm not, you know, the gray on gray, I'm not impressed with that. It could have brought a little more money, you know, if you'd have changed up the colors, I think. Oh, you think? Well, yeah. okay. Well, I think it did all right. What did, what did it end up bringing? $55,000. You're kidding me. So tell me about that gray on gray. <laughs> <laughs>